Now, on social media, everyone has an opinion, it seems, but some can certainly be more extreme than others. In 2015, 600,000 Twitter accounts were taken down for promoting violent extremist content. That's according to the Sufan Centre, which is a non-profit organisation specialising in security and strategic intelligence issues. It's launched a new initiative in the US called Endex. Have a listen to this. When we're born, we are unique individuals, part of one human race, united. Over time, with the environments we live in, the communities around us, we develop our views and we become slightly different. This difference, in some cases, can become extreme. An extreme difference can become extremism. What we must do is find a way to bring people back together. So, trying to find a way of peop bringing people back together, as you just heard towards the end there. Uh, the idea for the Sufin Centre that they've got is to create a more positive social media experience where you can basically tackle people's opinions in a diplomatic way. Meredith Stricker is from the centre and has been telling me more. Our position right now is that everyone will be affected by extremism. Either you are a perpetrator of hateful rhetoric and extremism, um, you're a victim of hateful rhetoric or extremism, or you're just someone who encounters it, whether that's through social media or traditional media, you're reading a story about something that happened. Um, and so we're looking, you know, with our partnership that includes Twitter and Spotify and PopSugar and Oath, uh, Group M and Mediacom, along with the Sufan Center, we're really looking to create this dynamic initiative that people can take advantage of to help them deal with this problem. So that for every one message of hate, you can have a hundred messages of inclusivity and tolerance. And we're trying to encourage people to do just that. The truth is we outnumber them. We, the non-extreme, outnumber the extremists. This is not, you know, a zero sum game where you're either, you know, on one side or another, that we're actually all in this together. It does feel like that there are polar opposite opinions going on, certainly in the US. And so, you know, I'd be curious to know what, what you mean by an extreme opinion, because you know, if I go on social media and someone has a viewpoint that, let's just say, that they don't accept transgender people, for example, they don't understand transgender people, would that be seen as an extreme viewpoint? Let's say somebody did say something hateful about tra a transgender person, if somebody tweeted that or put that on a Facebook post. The hope would be that someone else would respond maybe with kindness, maybe with trying to open dialogue with that person to write to them and to say, you know, do you understand what this is actually all about? And, and actually engage in a conversation, engage in dialogue. Additionally, maybe send a message of support out to the transgender community to say, hey, not everybody feels this way. So that you're at least seeing, and that's what I mean about sort of flooding the marketplace with a, with a lot of positive messaging as well, because maybe a hundred times more people think that there's absolutely nothing wrong with being transgender, but don't go on their Twitter feed and mm -hmm. say that, you know? So we're trying to encourage people to do that. This is really looking at where people are targeted by a particular fact of who they are, whether that's the color color of their skin or their religion or, you know... Their sexuality, their, that kind of exactly, thing. Exactly, exactly. And so for that reason, um, I mean, this is really about the idea of inclusivity and tolerance and valuing, the, you know, what we believe is a, is a core American value of everyone belongs. Interesting initiative there. That's uh, Meredith Stricker from the Sufin Centre.